Boy, we love this time of the week because it is time for Last Chance for Great Pets with our friends from the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. And boy, we have a dog that pretty much took over when you came <laughs> in the studio here just a couple minutes ago, Jason Parker. Needs to be exercised, right, Jason? This, uh, this dog is a force of nature. This is, this is Jimmy, and he is a happy, excited, energetic uh, dog. Michaela Devaney joins us from the Animal Rescue League, and uh, she's very tired this morning. Tell us a bit about Jimmy the dog. Uh, well, first of all, he has the biggest smile you've ever seen in your entire life. A happy guy, um, but he's on the move. You can see that he really, really likes life, and he loves being petted and um, toys and <laughs> ball. <laughs> yeah. One of us found the button. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just not stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a very energetic dog. All right, yeah. let's, let's cut to the chase here. If you bring a dog like this home, uh, you're going to need to walk it a couple times a day. This yeah. isn't a dog you can leave in, in the apartment or the house oh, for eight no. hours. He needs some stimulation. He responds really well to treats and toys, loves tennis balls. He could chase tennis balls for an hour. Yeah. So, I mean, that's something that you can hang out in your backyard and throw a tennis ball back and forth or, you know, big, nice basement with a TV, just throwing him a ball. He just wants to be around people that he likes, and he likes everyone. Mm -hmm. um, it and, seems so. Yeah. <laughs> He's really curious. You can see he's kind of an explorer. He wants to check out the world, and that's nice because it makes him a little bit independent. Right. He doesn't always want to be next to you. Right. Come on, buddy. Uh, and uh, so uh, kids, maybe not. If they're little kids, I yeah. mean, he, he's going to like them. Yeah. But, you know, it, there's we don't have any restrictions on it. Families kind of know their kids and know their families pretty well. Um, <laughs> But, you know, he just definitely has the capability of knocking him over if they're smaller kids. I almost kids. wonder if he has a little boxer in him because he boxes like a boxer when oh, you play yeah. with him. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and other dogs and cats? What do we um, think about you that? You know, no restrictions on that. So okay. far, he's just doing good. Yeah, he's a... Oh, he's see, a, now he's laying down. He's yeah. Well, he was... Yeah, a lot of them get excited when they come in here. Uh, for <laughs> obvious reasons, it's a very exciting place to be. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what a sweetheart of a dog. All right, let's talk about our kitty cat today who was uh, named uh, appropriately for this week. Yeah, 12 years old. Um, Molly's favorite thing is ear scratches and being on your lap. So Molly, that's just like you. The <laughs> yeah. She's I actually fit. in our pediatrics portion of the shelter, so we have a separate uh, area for the older cats. Oh, it's quieter. Pediatrics. Yeah, we call it pediatrics, but it's quieter. It allows them to kind of have separation and they can all calm down and be chill together rather than having young kittens trying to reach up and paw at them and be friends. So Jimmy and Molly, not so much, but maybe a younger <laughs> kid. Yeah. Not so much. What's coming up at the Rescue League this time of year? Well, we still have pre-order for apples right. going on right now. Um, we also have our Raise Your Paw auction. Lou knows all about that. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be, uh, those tickets are available online now. We sold out last year. So if you want to be able to go, you should definitely go ahead and get your tickets now. Yeah, it's um, the 16th of April, so circle that on your calendar. Yep. And then we also have on our website, you can go to arl-iowa.org and find all of our winter weather tips. So make sure that with these below freezing temperatures, you're doing things that will keep pets safe. Oop. Craig, get the ball, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy wants the ball. All right, uh, one more time for this super fun dog. Uh, Jimmy the dog. Uh, tell us a bit about him that uh, maybe people for some reason may not already know. Hey, yeah. Tom's getting it. There you go, Tom. There we go. So two years old, you can tell he loves tennis balls, <laughs> loves people. If you want a dog that gives you a reason to smile all day long, this is definitely your guy. So happy and loving. What a fun dog. And let's give him a forever home. And just know if you give him that forever home that you're going to have to get him outside and exercise him. This would be a great dog for someone who's active that likes to go out and run. And, Absolutely. Uh, this would be a perfect dog for you. And, and he just seems to really love everybody. Uh, he's going to be a, a loyal friend. For, I want to uh, take a, a step back, time. Jason, if I can. I'm going to go yeah. back to the apples real quick because sure. you want to get these things ordered and you want to get them in time for Valentine's Day. And they have a special deal where if you buy one, you get one for free. Just so you know, you buy 15, like maybe an office. Get 15 of them for an office, and they'll bring them over to you. They'll deliver them for you. But they have them for both humans, and they have them for dogs. They're two different things. Uh, the ones for dogs, it's an apple covered in peanut butter with crushed dog treats on it. So it looks like a regular caramel apple. All right. Like you would eat, Molly. But they are really cool and raises a lot of money. 15 bucks for humans, $10 for the dog ones. Uh, a lot of other fun things coming up in February, too. We'll talk about next week on the show, including racing dogs on ice. And, uh, 
they're pretty fun. They are so good. So yeah, give those a try. So Michaela, thank you again, yeah, thank and, you. and uh, good luck the rest of the day. Uh, it, it, but what a fun dog! And, and again, let's find uh, Jimmy a home today. We're going to leave you with our kitty cat of the day, who's named after Molly. And uh, we've got uh, the headlines <laughs> today, national headlines, and a look at your forecast for the upcoming seven days. This great day continues. Stay tuned.